Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and in this video, I have a five pound repurposed jewelry lot from Goodwill Blue Box and we will be going through it together. But first, I would like to show you guys a few, well, a bunch of items um, that I have for sale. And if you're interested in anything and you want to purchase, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is in the description box. Um, and let's show you what I have. So this is from my last, these are from my last video. Um, I still have these available, the Cloisonne bangle bracelets. I have a red one and a black one. I think I said eight on them each. Um, so here they are, very pretty. I love how they have the insides done as well and it's not just a solid color. So these are eight a piece. Then I have this um, smoky quartz. I did test it with the gem tester and it is sterling silver um, clasp and um, extender and they are beautiful and have a nice weight. Some of them have like a crackle in them, like if you can see that one in there. None of them, they're not cracked on the outside though. So I thought this was very pretty. Um, it had a $28.99 price tag on it. I did not pay that, um, but I will charge you guys $20 if you're interested in this. Super de-duper pretty. Then we have this cuff bracelet. And you know what's really funny? I literally just noticed that it is marked. <laughs> so I got this at a thrift store um, a couple days ago and I just, I thought it was so cute. It's like the calf hair, it's cheetah print. Um, there is a, a little bit of missing fur right here, but it's on the cuff, you know, on your wrist side, so you're really not going to see it. You can bend it to fit. And I literally just now, before I showed it to you, noticed that it was signed. I, didn't, I can't believe I didn't even notice that. So it's right here and it says Graziano. So um, we'll just do eight on this one. Oh, I love it. All right, and then I have these. So these I got also a couple days ago. Um, I wasn't sure about picking them up at first because they are very um, vintage and, you know, statement-y, let's just put it that way, um, but they are signed La, La Rouge or La Rage or, the, or La Rage, you know, I'm not sure, it's L-A-R-A-G-E, and I did look them up on eBay, they are a little dirty. Um, and they're selling for anywhere between like $10 and $25. So again, I did not pay $21.99. So if anyone's interested, I will do eight on these. I think they're super cool. You can definitely resell them. <clears throat> now I have some jewelry. Really quick before we get into the Goodwill Blue Box. This was sent um, by a subscriber to help with Nico. Um, his appointment is tomorrow. So uh, keep praying for him. So the first item is this beautiful bangle. She did tell me that she bought it with under the impression that they are Swarovski crystals, but the bangle is just too big for her wrist and actually is quite large on me as well. So I don't know how I can show you <laughs> how much room I got in there. Um, so, but it is so gorgeous. 
I mean, look at, look at the fire. Look at all that sparkle. Whew. So you guys do know I, I, I'm an independent consultant for Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski, which is their deliver to your home, more affordable line. So I will put the link in my description box if you're interested in taking a peek at that jewelry. We have 63 new pieces for the, for the spring and summer. And we also have a March sale going on with pieces um, up to 45% off. So definitely take a look at that. So anyway, this bangle, um, I'm going to ask 25 for it. And um, if you have a little bit bigger of a wrist, this would be perfect because it is um, a little large on me. I like my bangles to be a little bit more fitted. All right, so that is that one. So now we have this. Oops, I got an earring stuck on there. I'm like, oh no, it broke. <laughs> but it's just an earring. So this is like a little, here, let me move this down a little bit. It's got all these um, clusters of rhinestones and beads, faceted beads, clear and like a light brown on a silver tone, chunky chain. No maker, but it is awesome. Um, well, we can do five on that. Here's just a cute little mesh bracelet with some rhinestones. It is stretchy. Very nice. This we can do four on. Um, let's see. Then we have, oh look, that same earring got stuck on this. <laughs> I'll put you on the side. So we have these two bracelets. They're very um, Alex and Ani-esque. Let me turn this one around. So one is a little bit bigger than the other and it has these cute little almost like a sunburst I guess design this one is black in the center with black rhinestone uh, dangles and silver dangles and this one has a pink rhinestone center with pink dangles and silver dangles um, like I said this one's bigger and can well I guess you can push it smaller and then this one you can pull a little bit bigger so these will do for a piece on. Um, always make sure when you're emailing me, you let me know the timestamp and or screenshot of the item or items that you would like. It just helps me find them faster to send you the invoice and price. So this we have is beautiful. It's a silver tone bib necklace with these grayish and like cloudy colored beads. I think this one's really cool. I like how these rhinestones are sideways. Very neat. So let's do six on this one. So we have this bracelet, which at first I thought was Nadri, but I, re I really don't think so. I think it just is an N for an initial. I couldn't find any markings on it, but it, it's really, really pretty. It's really nice condition. Well, everything, because I did look through this stuff. <laughs> um, everything's in nice condition. It has the beautiful fold-over clasp, which is so much easier for putting on jewelry yourself than having to pinch a clasp. So there we go. And we'll do five on that. I swear this stuff wasn't tangled when I put it all back in the bag. <laughs> Another earring stuck. Okay, so this one is Leah Sophia, and I love this one because of the, um, hold on, it's a little twisted. 
because of the yellow beads. I think it's awesome for spring. It's a great piece to, uh, you know, convert from. I think this, I think I have to unclasp this and that's why it's a little twisted. Please hold. No, maybe I have to, I don't know, but there we go. So it has gray and clear beads with the yellow. I think that's so pretty. It's like layered. And then we have the geometric shapes here and double chain. I mean, this thing has got so much going for it and even has an adjustable length. So a great piece to bring you into the spring. You have the, you know, doo-doo colors for the doo-doo weather. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're not doo-doo colors. Um, but then you have the pop of yellow in there. Spring is on the way. Let's do six on that. Okay, so now, let me just see. Okay, yes, all right. So this, I love this chain. This is Monet. It is awesome. I feel like it can go with anything. You can dress it up or dress it down. It's this awesome chain, awesome chain link. Gold tone and it has the little hook clasp. And these are also Monet earrings. They're clip-on. So um, they're almost like a shell design. If anyone's interested in the set, um, I will do 12, but separately, um, 10 and four. How's that? Give you a little deal if you buy the set. All right, now we have a couple brooches. So we have this really cool one. So this has that, can you guys even see? Yeah, right there. C clasp and how much farther it extended the pin goes. Love that. So this is five. We have this awesome brooch. It is unmarked. We'll do five on that one as well. Um, let's see, what else we got over here? This one I really like too. This is unmarked, but I love the color combination. We have some purples and blues and peaches and separated by some gold tone. Very lightweight, they're just plastic. Do five. Here is a hematite and faux pearl. Actually, there might be real pearls. I think they're real. They might be. Oh no. Well, I'm not sure. I don't think these champagne color ones are, but I think these little rice pearls are. Either way, it's very pretty. Um, I did see some light scratching right here. I just wanna make sure I tell you guys any and every little thing that I can. So let's do five on that as well. This is so cool, I love this one. So it's this beautiful stretchy and it's got all these different cool things on it. Some glass, not really sure what this one's made out of, but there's some dichroic there. Don't know if this is real turquoise. It does have the, the look of it, but when I look in the hole, it kind of looks white to me, so this might just be a dyed stone. But either way, it is really cool. So we can do eight on this one. Very colorful. Now we have a little Pandora style charm bracelet. For all you shopaholics out there, we have some shopping bags and some purses with the beads. It's Christopher and Banks, and it has an $18 price tag on it. 
So um, let's let's do eight bucks on that. All right, next we have this cool statement necklace. This big pendant here, silver tone, three strand chain with an adjustable clasp, $5, unmarked. Next we have a feather, gold tone. Ah, yeah, get out of there. There we go. So cool, I love how it has that like tied look at the top. It is long with the extender, $5. Okay, then we have two pairs of earrings. So we have these cool silver tone. And um, I can do four on those. And then we have these. Oop, oh no, okay, I caught it. I almost dropped it on the floor. So let me just check again, because I, I didn't see any markings, but I really feel like these should be marked. <laughs> so look at these. Oh, that one won't stay up, but look at the fire on those. And they have a little crown at the top of the crystal. Love these. So let's do six on these. Okay, now let's get into the Goodwill blue box. Ba -ba -ba -da. Okay, so I got two boxes, because as you guys now know, or if you didn't know, they put a limit on the boxes of two per person per order. Oh no, two per person per day, um, which is fine with me, because the most I've ever gotten at once was four, so two is fine. Oh, well, this looks a little, a little short. <laughs> I guess I got some heavy pieces in there. Now, this one is from Greensboro, North Carolina, I think, which I've never gotten one from North Carolina, so this should be interesting. And since I got two, I will be holding on to any um, single earrings in case the mate is in the second box. So let's see. Let's see what we got. So first thing is a, is a no. But I will check those for sterling. I don't think they are. They feel very light. No. Okay. So craft a lot items are a dollar. Um, this oh, this is actually kind of cute. It's a Halloween charm bracelet. One of the charms. Oh no, it's right there. Never mind. <laughs> it is not stretchy anymore, so that will go into craft. Um, let me turn my gem tester on pressy because I see some stones that might need testing so we have this little hope bracelet that will go into craft see like this I would like to test for either quartz or pink jade there is a tag so it says 925 but to me that does not look like sterling silver Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really see how the clasp, let me, I'll check it. <laughs> it just doesn't, it's just too bright, but you know, I could be wrong. Let's see. I am wrong. So it is sterling silver. So I'm going to guess that it is pink jade or a quartz so Pressy's not ready yet so we'll put that on the side this is a hmm, 
probably a bracelet and it has an arrow on it and it says Proverbs 3, 5, 6 and it is sterling silver right here. So that actually the whole thing is probably sterling. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Let's do 10 on that. That's cute. Did I? Oh no, I think she's still, I think she's still, uh, she's still heating up. Yeah. I think I might need to change the battery. <laughs> so this is interesting. It feels like glass. There is a break in it though, right there. You guys can see that. So that's pretty interesting. Why is it? Oh, there she goes. She just turned on now. Wait, did she? No. Um, all right. So let's keep going for now. So right off the, right off the bat, we're doing pretty good so far. So we have live, laugh, love, and it says Alexa's angels. All right. Yeah, Alexa's Angels. That's cute. Oh, this could be Sterling too. Wouldn't that be nice? It is not. <laughs> All right, Pressy just decided to warm up. Yeah, she definitely took a little longer than normal. Might have to change the batteries. All right, so let's see what this is. Oh, as I slip off of it. So I would definitely say that that is pink jade. Sweet. So we have pink jade and sterling silver necklace knotted in between. You can do um, 15 on that. And this one, we can do eight. We have a broken piece. Hmm. That might go into my scrap pile. Single earring. This looked cool, let's look at this. So looking at the clasp, I do see a 925 right in there. Now, what these beads are, I have no idea. They might be pearls. Yeah, they're pearls. So these are like a really dark, iridescent pearl sterling silver necklace. Wow. Let's do 18 on that. It's a little dirty, but I'll clean it up. Wow, guys, so, so far so good. Wow, look at that earring. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, we'll hang on to that. This is really pretty. I see a tag. It's Premier Design. There is wear on the clasp and the Premier Design logo, but that is so pretty. I even like the bail. So it's brown, like a brown stone of some sort with the seed beads. And like I said, there is a little bit of wear, but we can do five on that. That's really cool. I like it. Oh, I like it. So we have a bolo tie, just a brown cord. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool one though. Nope. So this, I'll just do like three bucks on it if anyone's interested. This looks nice. Let's get it straight for you. So we'll check the clasp for marks. I don't see any, but this is really really pretty. I think it would probably go that way. Focus check. Okay. Wow. It There is a little bit of chipping at the top, 
but I really don't think that that's anything major. Tiger Eye and Faux Turquoise. Wow, I like this one. So um, let's do 12 on that. We have this cute little pink beaded bracelet. Checking the clasp, no markings. So we can just do five on that. We have an earring. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. It does have a marking. Oh, it's a stainless steel. Okay. I don't really like the cord that it's on. But if you guys want it to switch out onto a chain, I'll just do four bucks. Work of heart. Oh, that's cute. Made in China. Just probably like a stainless steel cuff. And do four on that. All right, moving right along. We have a stretchy ring. How the hell? There we go. Oops. This will go into craft. It's really, it's stretched out. Stretched to the max. This is cute. Let's just test this quickly and see if it comes up. Nope, nothing. It's quite large, so it might even be able to pass as an anklet. So um, it's just a beaded, glass beaded, I guess. Brace, larger bracelet or anklet and do four on it. I see a tag on this, so let's take this out. What is going on here? Okay, so let's look at who you are. Ooh, it's Lily per Pulitzer. La, la, la. Oh, you Lily. So Lily also has this very J. Crew esque clasp. But I love selling Lily Pulitzer jewelry. For some reason, I can't sell her clothes to save my life. But the jewelry, I definitely do well on. It is a very long, chunky gold tone necklace with this awesome mix of charms at the end we have a seahorse another little pave ball like at the top a blue one and then we have this really cool tassel with the coral and blue colors you guys i love this it does have some weight to it but this would look great oh my god it's in such good condition too so let's do 15 on this that's so worth it. I can if if no one wants it, I'm, I can definitely sell it online for probably thirty or thirty five. Awesome. So we have a little Pandora esque bracelet. No markings, but I like it because it's got gold tone, black, and pearl color. Ooh, I think something broke off of here. I think this is supposed to be the black bead that's over here so you know what this is going to go into craft all right so this earring will go to the side we have another earring in here we have this little lady yeah i mean she's all right she's in good shape i think that's the back We'll just do four on her. Four dollars. Here's another earring. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is gold tone and look at that pendant. I like how it's held on by the sides like that. Very cool. 
gold tone filigree open metal work good condition do five bucks we have a silver tone stretch with a rainbow G yeah it's probably just gonna go into the craft but if anyone if you want that for anyone you know with a name with a G maybe a little daughter or grandchild give it to you for a dollar it was in good condition it's just not something I would be interested in selling all right that looks like a mess let's see what we can get out uh what happened here up oh, there we go if I can find the clasp on this I don't think there is one. Oh wait here can get probably get it out a lot easier there we go so this one I'm gonna have to put into craft I do really like these pink beads but um the silver tone is very worn the copper is starting to come through a lot <clears throat> so that's craft oh god you guys all right so this is pretty i thought it was brightened for a second but it is not it's got a little bit of wear over here but i think overall this is in good condition see how it's a little discolored but i like the beads um so let's just do two dollars it's not anything, you know, it's not anything major, but it's still okay. Here's an earring we're going to put to the side. That's a cool earring. That'll go to the side. Look, I think I found a match already. So that's giving me some hope. Hold on. What happened? Okay, that's a single one. Here's the match though, right here. These are very cool. Orange and like a brass tone. I'll do four on those. All right, what is this? Okay, it doesn't come off. How did all of you get in here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm going to stop it for a second and okay, I'll be right guys, back. I did it. I have untangled everything. Um, I'm going to start with this because it's going to go into craft. Um, it is very worn. Um, this one, I'm going to... <sighs> I don't know. It has all these Disney charms on it. So I guess I'll look it up. I don't know. Um, they all do say Disney. But I mean, some Disney st stuff can go for a lot and some don't. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a price on the screen. But there's that. We'll put that on the side. There's this is Ralph Lauren right there. It's in okay shape. So it's all right. Yeah, I guess we're good on it. Clasp looks nice. All right, well, you get that. You get it. So we can just do five on that one. This is just a chain, but it's not magnetic. I don't know. There's no markings or anything. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, here's a single earring. This is a long necklace. But it is... I mean, it's kind of worn in some spots on the chain. And this is plastic, very lightweight. So, I'll just put that into craft. This is cute. It says every day is a new day and it has a um, hummingbird on the back. 
it's just a ball chain so we can just do four on that if anyone's interested this is ali khan it's um they're based out of new york but it is not in good shape at all so that's going to go into craft this is uh, a four nash necklace it's cute it's in good condition it's gold tone with these three little charms with blue enamel so i can do like six bucks on that then we have this anchor That's in good shape. It's long, gold tone. Do five on that. Now this, this is broken, but I wanted to look at it closer because this little mark says T-A-I. And let me try to look at this other side. There's no markings, but there's a little stone in the middle. Let me see if that's a diamond. If I could even, I should be able to get that. No. It doesn't even move. Okay, so let's see. It might be gold. I'm going to have to test... You know what? Let's do it right now. Um, I Because I don't see any markings anywhere, which is very weird. So, let's see. How am I going to do this? Hopefully that'll be good enough. Maybe I can get the clasp here. So tiny. All right, well, we only really need one line because if I do the 10 carat and it eats it, then it's not 14 carat. So let's see, 10 carat, we'll do the big line also. Remember, don't touch the tip of your bottle onto the scratch because you're gonna you're mess it up. You're gonna move all the, you know, you're gonna move your scratch. So don't touch the tip to the stone. Okay, so it's not gold, it um, ate the line. So I'm not even gonna bother with the um, 14 carat, but I will test with the 18 carat to see if it's maybe a vermeil. Nope, it's not that either. Okay, so it's, just it just wants to fake me out <laughs> I can still bring it to my jeweler and have him test it but eh. so that's probably just gonna go in the garbage because it's nothing and nothing but if anyone knows what THI means I don't know I'll hold on to it for a little bit all right so let's see what else we got This is ginormous and heavy. It is not in good condition at all. That's going right into craft. That's a pretty cool earring, so we'll hold on to that. Here's an earring. This is pretty cool. Um, it's in good condition. Let's do four on that. I don't think that it's silver. Nope. Just gotta get a little sip of water, hang on. Okay, get a little parched over here. <laughs> All right, so this I can see is the stainless steel. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this. So it says stainless steel JCM China. No idea what that is. But you, it's like that zipper pull thing. So you put it on and you kind of just, yeah, because I can get it to work, right? I thought you just pull both. Maybe you just pull one. 
whatever, you get the point. You pull that, of course I pulled the wrong way, whatever. I'm a nice demonstration person, right? But this is an excellent condition. Pull it like that. So let's do six on that. We have a really ratty rope with an ohm symbol and this pretty cool rock arrowhead. Do five on that. Earring. Ooh, a ring. So looking for markings, I don't see any, but it does look like it could be silver. Let's test. Wow, I can't I can can't even get that to scratch. That's kind of weird. Get out of there, bubble. So I would say no, it's not turning blue. So we will say no to that. But if you are interested in purchasing, it is a size nine. And we'll just do four on it. Earring. Craft. <laughs> Ooh, an Italian charm bracelet. I definitely had one of these when they were cool. This one is huge. Um, this one has a, a butterfly, an I love spa at the United States, and it looks like it had a little charm here that's no longer there. Okay, so that's probably just gonna go into craft. Ooh, this is a cute earring. We'll hang on to that. Look, here's another glass bangle. Definitely glass. So um, I'm just peeking into the box. I don't see any others. So I don't know if anyone would be interested in these. This one does have a crack in it. But we'll just do like two, like a dollar and two dollars. So I think they're pretty interesting. Here's a definitely fake ring. I'll just do four on that. It's adjustable. It sits nicely at a six, but it can fit up to an eight. All right. This looks pretty cool. Oh, I like that earring. So we'll hold on to that one. Here's another earring. So I'm I'm liking this box. I mean, th I'm pretty pretty happy with you, uh, North Carolina. This is going into craft, it's not in good condition. Earring we'll hold on to. This is cute. It does say 925 on the clasp. Mm, not, I mean these could be real turquoise chips. They do kind of look like they would be real. But I don't know why they would put this on the bottom. That kind of, to me, like devalues it. <laughs> but we can do 10 on it. Actually, it's sterling silver, all this. So let's do um, 15. All right. Illusion necklace. We know I don't like that. I think they get, oh, look, here's this other earring. So let's do that right now. So we have these cutesy ones. Of course, the hook gets stuck on everything. There we go. You can do five on those. I like that. All right, get this. Oh, this is broke. Okay, hold on. Actually, I don't think it broke. I think it's just a strand of pearls, which are real. So if you guys want a strand of real pearls, let's do 10. Here's an earring we'll put to the side. 
So um, this now, hmm. Usually illusion necklaces are always bent out of shape. This one is a little bit right here. So I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. These are glass beads. These ones are plastic. <clears throat> we just do four on it if anyone's interested. But I'm not. <laughs> That's a cool earring. We'll hang on to that. Oh, look here. Oh, nice. Here's another one of those bracelets. But in yellow. Six dollars, right? That's what I said for the other one. Earring. This is cute. So it's a gold tone with pearls and a sand dollar. I like that. Do eight on that. We'll hang on to this earring. Oh, these are nice. So let's see if these are marked. They're little silver um, hoops. Hold on. Why won't this come off? Oh, I bet you they're screw. Okay, hold on. No, they're not moving? No. Nope, they weren't screw. They were just really hard to take off. <laughs> So I really like these. I do not see any marks. They're probably sterling. I don't know. You guys, sometimes I just don't feel like testing. <laughs> I know it sounds lazy, but no, they're not sterling. And I'm, I should really bring a paper towel in here. But I do like them, and they are new. They're teeny little huggy earrings. So let's do six on these. Oh, this is the other half of that bracelet that broke. See if there's any marks. Nope, I don't see any, but whatever. Here's a ring. Ooh, this one's pretty. I don't see any markings. Not magnetic, but it is very pretty. So let's get you a size, uh, la la la. It is an eight. So let's do, uh, let's just do five, that's fine. Okay, what's this? So we have a pretty cool chain. Look at the chain. It's like little disco balls. And then we have a cutout star, but it has like floral cutouts in it. Very cool. Five dollars. Wow, look at that earring. <laughs> Guess we can hold on to that. Okay, so we have a drug allergy penicillin bracelet. I have sold medical alert bracelet. Well, I've sold one before. They, don't, they only bring like 10 to $14, so I'm putting that into craft. What does this say? Oh, this is Sarah Coventry. So that's cute. There is a little bit of wear on the clasp, but eh, I mean, it's not in the best of condition. Let's do two dollars if anybody wants it. It's not really the greatest. There's a stretchy, it's going into craft. All right, now what is this? Is this two necklaces or what? No, it's one, that's very strange. Okay, so check it out. Let me guess, is it Claire's? It is. So it's pretty, right? You see this and you're like, okay. But then it goes down to this these tassels. <laughs> I just think that's so random. Um, it's in good shape. But it's Claire's, so it'll turn in probably a day or two. But if, <laughs> but if anyone's interested, I'll just do $2. It's pretty cool. Pretty different. 
All right. Keep on keeping on. Uh-oh, I dropped something. Oh, let me get it. Okay. It was a single earring, so we'll put it to the side. Ooh, this is nice. Are you Brighton? <laughs> She's not marked, so, oh wait. I think it is marked right there. But I can't tell what it is. See it? Um, but it does appear to be real leather. Yeah, I don't know, $8. Here's another ring. I like getting rings. So this says, okay, it's 18 karat gold electro plate. And I've told you guys before, unfortunately, electro plated jewelry is not worth very much of anything. It's a size seven, which stinks because it's pretty stuff. Let me just see if these stones are anything. No. Um, I recently sold a ring. I think it was 14K electro plate. I had it listed for $14.99 because that's what they were going for. And somebody offered me 11 so I took it. So, yeah. I mean, it's size 7. I'll do $5. It's just so crazy how it just is worth nothing. Be the light. That's cute. Five dollars. Not a bad stretchy, but um, craft it goes. Oh, that's a cool ring. All the stones are there. You can do five on that. It's stretchy. There's also a hair in it. Let's get rid of that. All right, here's a charm little bracelet. It's trying to be Brighton, but it's not. Um, the bracelet itself is not in good condition, but most of the charms are okay. So I don't know if anyone could still use it or wear it, but let's do five on that. This is cute. Do three on that, little cuff. So this is an earring. You actually put one end in one side of your ear and put the back in on the other. That's so kind of creepy. So we're just gonna put that in craft, but if anyone wants it, you're more than welcome. Ooh, that's pretty, starfish. It is marked 925. Let me just test the stones. I doubt they're diamonds, no. So there you go. It's got a little bit of um, something in there. I don't really know. See that right there? But we can do 10 on that. Here is, I think this is an earring, two earrings. And some type of chain. So the chain link says 925 Italy. Oh, but it's magnetic. Ha, huh. so it's probably a faker. So I probably still will keep this for a pendant. So that's fine. A little, is this sterling too? This is sterling too. It's marked on the clasp. Pretty glass beads. It looks a little smaller. Oh no, it fits my wrist. It's probably a seven. So let's do eight on that. Here's a single earring we'll hang on to. <clears throat> oh, I love that noise. 
This is broken, I think. Don't really know what's going on here. The charms are pretty cool, but that'll go into craft. We have a flip-flop stretchy. It's in good condition, but craft it goes for me. Oh look, here's the other half of that necklace uh, bracelet. The it broke right here. The ring is completely busted. <clears throat> here's a little ladybug stretch, but it doesn't have any stretch, so that'll be a cool piece for a crafter. Earring. That's gonna be a no for me. Here's an L bracelet. Good condition. I'm gonna do four on that if anyone is interested. Here's a single earring. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a charm. But and it looks like this pink thing opens. Yeah, I can't get in there to open it. So uh yeah, I don't know. I guess craft. Here's a wire necklace. It's pretty cool. You can probably do some cool things with that. Um, do five on it. No markings. All right, we're getting down to the end. But I must say, I do like this lot. All right. So this is another one of those bracelets. It says, be the light again. So I think, I, what I say, five on the other one? Same thing for that. Here's a stretchy, not bad condition. Just do two on that. We are winding down. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that. So I'm going to say that that's fake opal because the wear on the prongs here is like gone. I mean the... It says it's 925, but why is it so worn? Like the copper is showing through. No, it is a fake 925. Can you guys see right there in the prongs? Oh, that sucks because this would be so pretty. But if anyone is still interested, it's pretty big. It's a nine, and there's also wear on the back here. But I would do, let's just do five bucks. But that's, that's a bummer. This is just gonna go into crafting. Just checking for marks really quick before I throw it there. Yeah, no. Here's a cute little stretchy heart ring. It's in good shape. I'm just do three bucks on that. That's gonna be a no, even if we find the meat. The meat. <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool. What are you? It says E on the back. I have no idea what that means. Are you Sterling too? Get a nice scratch. Tis not. Tis not. So, um, it does look like sterling, though. I don't know. Five. Little watch bracelet. Dollar. Craft. L.E. I did have one of these in the past. And I forgot what L.E. meant, but um, I'll do like six bucks on that. It's pretty nice. We have this. That's really pretty. Looks to be handcrafted. With some black beads. Uh, I'll do five. Okay, I don't know why that's like that, but 
that's going into craft. Here's an earring, another stretchy ring, but that's seen better days. So it's going into craft that we can hang on to. Ew, that is nasty. Nope, that's a no. No. This is cool. These are probably worry beads. Um, they're probably bone. They're just going to craft. This is cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it's broken. Let me just see what it comes up as. This is probably quartz. It's coming right in the middle of the quartz amethyst line, but that's gonna go into craft because it is busted and I don't want it all over the place. This looks like a ring. There is a mark in there, but I can't read it. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Just do five on it. And it looks like it's a size six. Ooh, look, a band. Is it 14 carat? There's no markings. Nope, it's not real. But if anyone's interested, it is a size eight. So we'll do $5. All right, then we have these two crosses. They are stone. Let's do four a piece because <clears throat> so I don't have a chain for them. Here's an earring. Here's a bead. Okay, so now this is the end that I'm going to dump out right now. Okay, that's it. And I like how there's not that many little pieces. I get really stressed out when there's all those little pieces at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so here's a bracelet. I'm just checking the inside because a lot of the time J. Crew does stretch bracelets and they'll still mark the inside. So you definitely gotta check that out. This is really nice. It's got good stretch, silver tone with all these rhinestones. They are all here. So let's do five on that. Ooh, I saw this one. Here we go. Are they marked? They are not. So if anyone's interested, I will get backs and they are $4. Okay, here's that nasty gold tone one that we're not keeping. This is in good condition, but craft. So we got some of these beads. Let's take them all out. That's an earring, but that's okay. That's definitely not sterling. It's it's peeling on the inside. So all that is craft. That's craft. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's oh JJ makes earrings. Oh yeah. All right, girl. I'll keep you. See if we have your mate. Wow, that's cool. Wowza, wowza, wowza. I like that. I like you. Oh, so Mr. Uh, Pumpkinhead right here will be four dollars he's really cool he's a pendant Budweiser no thank you here's a shell pendant it's got a little bit of gunk on it eh, we'll put that in craft code talkers United States of America it's this is a replica it says limited edition replica World War one World War two 2016, I don't know about this. I mean, I'll hang on to it. I'll look it up, see what happens. This is black. It's probably sterling, but I'll just put that into scrap because it is nasty. You nasty. Okay, this, here we have the match to these. These are really pretty. They have like an amber colored stone. Oh wait. Two of the stones are missing here, so that's a dub. 
These are cute. We have the match here, not marked, $4. Here's another, a couple more um, crosses. I, gave, I think I said four on those. Here's clip-ons, but they're not in good condition. Of course, that would save 925. I'm going to have to dig out the other one now. Yeah, these are... So, Banana Republic makes... Uh, sterling silver earrings. Because I got two sets. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, wait, here. And then, did I have the other one? Here, yeah. So, I have all four. But they are not in good condition. I don't know what this coating is over it because it's peeling. Look, I can scratch it right off. That's very weird. But they do say 925 on them. So I guess I'll just, yeah, BR. Do you guys see that? So weird. But okay. They're going to my jeweler to be scrapped. All right. Um, here. Oh, look. Here's another one of those bracelets, but in blue. So that's awesome. $6. I like the blue one. That's pretty. All right. This is what we have left. So we'll hang. I think we had this match. Yep, right here. Not marked. $4. My fingers are dirty. Oh, look, here's the match right here. They intertwine them with each other. They do say 925 on the, the back of the earrings. They're probably real pearls. We can do eight on those little brown covered pearls. We have a soccer ball charm. Let's do five if anyone's interested in that. A little Santa Claus craft, craft. Let's bring my vacuum in here. <laughs> all right, so all this is a dub. Let me just check this earring really quick. Yeah, I know. So what's this? Looks like a broken bail. I don't think that's sterling. Ew, this is so gross. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't even want that. That's got all kinds of ear cheese on it and gross stuff. I don't know, five bucks. We have a little flip flop pendant. And none of this is marked. I don't know, so let me know if anybody wants it. Just do five. And I save this ring for last. It does have a mark. It says Korea. So I doubt that's real. Nope. But let's get you a size. It is a nine. There is some wear on the back, but not really bad. Do five bucks. And that's it, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the thumbs up. Make sure you press that bell so you're notified next time I make a video. And we'll have box number two in a couple days. I don't know. It depends on how everything goes with Nico's appointment tomorrow. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. Thank you for all your care and love and prayers and hugs and kisses. And um, we will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.